Hello guys, Street Studios back with another video, and are you sick of all these pesky battle droids? Well, don't worry. Today, I am going to be showing you how to make some really cool upgrades for your clone troopers. So let's get into it. First, I am going to show you how to build a cool clone machine gun. First, you will take this camera piece and stick this candle piece into it, like so. Make sure of this. Then you're going to take one of these pieces. You're going to take one of these, and you're going to stick it right through there, so that's the handle of the machine gun. Then, you're going to take a cone and put it on the handle of the turret. Then, you're going to put this on a custom Lego tripod, like so. Now, you're going to take your clone trooper, and he can start manning the turret. Don't worry just yet. I made something for all of you purists. You're going to remove the tripod. And then you're going to take these two one by one studs and put them on like so. And then take this two by two with two by two round plate with hole in it. And you're going to put it there. And then you can put it on like so. Then we can take the clone gunner and he can man the turret. So that's how you make a custom clone machine gun. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make this custom clone mini gun. So let's move this guy out of the way and get into the build. You're gonna you're gonna want to take one of these one by one bricks with holes on the side, and you're gonna stick four binocular pieces in like so. So this will be the main little mini gun. Then what you're gonna do is build this little thing with a bar and two one by one studs with holes in them. And you're going to stick this like so. Then you're going to take this handle piece and you're going to stick this like so. So that's how you make the mini gun. Now we're going to take one of our clone troopers and give it to them. And that's how he looks with our custom made mini gun. I can stand him. Yeah, so. That's how you make a custom clone minigun. Next, I'm going to show you how to build some other cool blasters for your clones. First up, you have this very simple build. You take one of these Technic pieces and slip it on a long blaster rifle. And that's how you make a pretty cool looking DC-15, I think is what you call them. But yeah, that's how you make that. Next, we're going to build a rocket launcher like this. You're going to take one of these pieces of the Click and Among Us camera, and you're going to put it on the rocket launcher like so. She shows me that looks like this. Then you're going to take this one by one cylinder and put it on. And then you're going to take this and put it on. So that's how you make a little rocket launcher. Next up is a smaller little minigun. It requires less pe way less pieces than the other one. You're gonna build. You're gonna put that bar on there. Then you're gonna put a stone there. And then for more detail, a black antenna. And you're gonna put it on like so. So that's how the turret should look for machine gun. And you're gonna take one of these clone troopers. And you are gonna clip it on like that. So this is. This is how he looks with the minigun, or machine gun. This is how he looks with the launcher. I think it looks pretty good. I can angle this more down if I want to. But that's how he looks with the launcher. And then, this is how he looks with the blast rifle. So, I think all those look pretty good. Next up, this design is for the people who don't have any of these jetpacks. So basically, it's very simple to make. You just take a net bracket, and you put the matching binocular color on it, and you get these really cool jetpacks. So if I take one of my clone troopers, this is how they look with them. It's pretty nice. They look pretty sweet with those jetpacks. Anyways, you can give him a gun. Yeah, so I'd say 
if you're looking to make some really simple jetpacks that only take two pieces, this is what you should build. Very simple. These pieces are very easy to find. You should have a lot of those in your collection. If not, you could probably order them, them on Bricklink for less than a cent. So that's how you make some really cool custom jetpacks. This is for the people who can't get any waist capes or camas. So let's get right into it. You can just cut some out. It's very simple. If you find a cloth that you're not using, you can cut it out into the shape of a camera. Or if you have an already existing Lego cape that you don't use and want to cut it out into one, you could do that. That's what I did with this one. And honestly, I guess the job done. You could probably cut one out way better than this, but I honestly think it looks pretty good on my clone trooper. The only downside is there's a little bit of like scuffs around from where the scissors cut the cloth. So you're probably going to want to get some sewing scissors, like really sharp scissors for that. If you want to make it really good looking. Like this, where it's very rounded out and it's very neat. Unlike this one, where it looks like there's hair everywhere. But honestly, I think this gets the job done. And it's a very simple way to make a custom um, custom camera or pauldron. So that's how you do that. Hey, it looks like you made it to the end of my video. That probably means you really like the content that I'm making. If you haven't, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And yeah, that's how you make a ton of cool custom equipment for your clones.